The vast majority of hazardous materials shipped by rail tank car every year arrive safely and without incident. Today, many industries rely on the shipment of hazardous materials by rail, which is both more environmentally friendly and economically viable than deliveries by road. However, even when rail cars reach facilities, they are not necessarily free from a potential incident. Facility incidents that involve hazardous materials can cause health and hazard risks to both the responders and the surrounding community. On May 3, 2019, Chester County Emergency Management Agency held a hazardous materials transportation exercise at the Omnova Solutions facility located in Chester, South Carolina. The exercise scenario involved a rail tanker car with a faulty pressure relief valve. The rail car was carrying vinyl acetate. The purpose of the exercise is to enhance Chester County's emergency responders' level of preparedness for hazardous materials transportation emergencies and conduct a multi-agency hazardous materials transportation exercise. Emphasis was placed on training responders how to recognize and identify the hazardous material involved. Gain access to the top of a rail car. Apply an emergency response kit to a faulty valve and the setup and operation of an emergency and three-stage technical decon. The exercise was funded by a hazardous material emergency planning grant from the U.S. Department of Transportation. Chester County has a very active local emergency planning committee. The LEPC is part of the HMEP grant approval process and exercise planning. Without funding from the HMEP grant, this level of training would be greatly limited. Planning for the exercise included an initial planning meeting, an Omnova solution site visit, three training sessions on airspace monitoring, and three training sessions by Norfolk Southern Railway. The first half involved classroom training including intro to rail and tank car specialist, and the second half with hands-on training using a tank car training dome with emergency response kit, and a tabletop exercise. The exercise included the following responding agencies and other personnel. Chester City Fire Department, Chester County Hazmat, Chester County Emergency Management, Chester County Emergency Medical Services, Omnova Solutions, Norfolk Southern, Pepico, South Carolina Emergency Management Division, and observers, including LEPC members and the Chester County Career Center Firefighter One class. Following a safety briefing, the hazardous materials transportation exercise started. The exercise focused on recognize and identify hazardous material involved. Responders will use the following resources to recognize and identify the hazardous material involved including the Omnova representative and the emergency response guide using the information located on the placard and or rail car identification.
gain access to the top of a rail car. Hazmat responders wearing Level A suits will utilize their own fire service ladder to access the top of a rail car. Hoist a tool bag. Cut the safety seal. And secure the dome cover. Apply Emergency Response Kit. Hazmat responders will mitigate the leak by applying the Emergency Response Kit around the faulty pressure relief valve. Oh, I didn't know you had the tool there. I was going to say, don't worry about looking for it as long as you know. Operation entertained to 2400 read personnel. Be a fine and leak and relief valve. Moving to the rehab area. And when y'all cinch it down, when you put your center. Technical and emergency decontamination. A team will conduct the setup and operation of a three-stage technical decon line, including an emergency decon station. The exercise concluded with a hot wash for the immediate after action discussion and evaluation of the participating agency's performance during the exercise.
This video was brought to you by Chester County Emergency Management Agency.